we work with mucus, its functional biophysical properties and methods of controlling these properties. Mucus is one of nature's success stories. We know it as a mammalian secretion, but it's also found in a very similar form in very diverse organisms, such as snails and even corals. Mucus is absolutely essential to life. Its functions are protection, lubrication and transport, and it has physical properties that are ideally suited to these functions. But there are occasions when we would like to be able to modify and control those properties. One example is lung diseases, for example, cystic fibrosis. The mucus that normally traps inhaled particles like dust and bacteria, which are then removed from the lung as part of the mucociliary clearance system, becomes too thick and too viscous to be transported. So you end up not only with a failure of your cleaning system, but also a buildup of mucus in your lungs, which leads to loss of lung function. So in this case, we'd like to be able to return the properties more to normal to make them less viscous so that the mucus and the trapped bacteria, dust, etc., can be removed and you improve lung function. In another situation, the normal healthy mucus that covers our internal surfaces of our body can act as a barrier to the delivery of medicines, particularly newer, larger molecules. And here we aim to alter the barrier properties so we can sort of transiently open up a window to allow medicines through, which otherwise would have to be given intravenously. Of course, the impact depends on how successful we are in modifying the properties. Um, in the case of the cystic fibrosis, the lung disease, uh, our research has resulted in a product which is now in clinical trials for improved lung function. And in the case of the drug delivery, we are now part of a European Innovative Medicines Initiative consortium, which is 13 universities, seven pharmaceutical companies and two biotechs, where we have a main aim to improve delivery of the new generation of biological drugs. What we hope is that they can be utilised both as part of a physician's arsenal against lung diseases and also to enable mucosal delivery of the next generation of medicines.